Welcome back to ICT Kenya. This is KCSE 2013 Computer Studies Practical on Databases. The following database skills were tested. Creating database and tables, setting primary keys for tables, forming relationship between tables, select query, computing edge using queries, creating reports, and grouping its record using fu uh, count function. I'll take you through all this throughout the video. Get the PDF attached under the video's description so that we may do it together. Welcome back, and Robert. Let's begin by creating a database named Patients Info. Shortest method by right clicking on the desktop, select new Microsoft Access database, and give it a good name. Opening the program, we will create three tables as required. I'll guide you in creating one of the tables and then you attempt the others. Note this, it's advisable to set all data types as text, not unless you shall use that particular field in computations, as I'm doing right here. This will help us to skip field data type incompatibility errors received during creation of data uh, relationships. A complete table should have a unique field known as primary field or primary key, and this is how we set it. Now, attempt the other two tables. It's time to form relationships between the three tables. We make use of foreign fields to do so. A foreign field is usually a primary key of another table, so let us find them and link them. Clearly, from consultation table, we have a field patient's number, which is similar to the primary key of the patient's table. We join them. We set referential integrity that the two become one and no one can interfere with the child without mother's permission. Here is how enforce differential integrity create. Now we do the same for the doctor's table. Link and close and save. Forms, simplest of all. To do, select that table and let the form wizard do the rest for you. Yours will be just to respond to the wizard. Type the form name and complete. Challenge yourself for the other two forms and let me know the feedback by the comment section. The other name for forms is input screens and therefore you can use them to capture data into the tables. Nevertheless, we can feed the table direct without use of the forms and therefore the choice is yours. Again, notice the order of feeding the data to the tables. As far as the tables are linked, you cannot add data in an order. You must start with the individual tables before feeding the data to the table which contains fields referring these individual tables, else this error will appear on your screen. Therefore, the order is patients, doctors, and final consultations. You cannot modify child table without informing the mother. That is the secret. As I promised, we'll compute age using a query to go. We need to select patient name, gender, and consultation date as per the requirement. But we also need to select year of birth to assist us in computation, as I'm doing right now. This is what we have. We will use query design window to compute the age and then hide the unwanted field, which is year of birth. Separate the field name age with formula using a colon. Now, use key year keyword to retrieve year from consultation date and subtract with the year of birth, run the query and save it. Select query. It is time to filter details about patients who were addressed by Dr. Beatrix and this is how we go about it. Sorry, I forgot to hide the year of birth. Let us deal with it right now. Huh. 
So we can get the details of these patients by selecting their names from patient's table, ailment from consultation table, and doctor name from doctor's table. This is how you do it. Do it. From the query design view, we will apply filter under doctor's names and type B-trees and run the query. Since we don't need the doctor's name, we can hide it again from design view. The procedure of creating a report is similar to that of a form, using report wizard Pick patient's name from patients, consultation dates from consultations, doctor names from doctors. We are instructed to group the records by patient's name. name. So I'll choose landscape orientation and end up typing the field or the report name. name. Open the report in design mode. By default, the report name will be report's title and let us, therefore let us modify the title. For the counting of the number of visitations, open the report in design mode and click group and sort icon from menu ribbon. Click more options under with no totals, select totals on patient's name using function of type count, specify how you'd like to see the visitations as subtotals either at the end of the group of records or the beginning. Open your report in report view. Feel free to add a label to tell you more about the meaning of the subtotal. The last question is on printing. Control P is usually a shortcut. You need to choose your printer name. For my case, I'll save my tables, queries, and reports as PDFs since it is for demonstration purposes only. Otherwise, I appreciate your time. Kindly like the video and if possible, share it with others. Information is power. If this is your first time, do not forget to subscribe to our channel as we grow together. Happy times.